Today we are going to continue with the, the concept of time. But today we are going to learn how to read time. We are going to tell, uh, learn how to read the time from the clock. Remember, yesterday we did the parts of the clock. We said that this is the face of the clock and on the face we have numbers from 1 to 12. We also have two hands. One is called the hour hand. It is the shortest hand on the clock. And the other is called the minute hand. The minute hand is longer than the hour hand. Now, when we need to read time, we use the word o'clock. When the minute hand is at the 12th, it is showing a full hour, so we call it o'clock. Now, on this clock over here, the hour hand is pointing at the 8, and the minute hand is pointing at the 12th. So, we say that the time is 8 o'clock. Let us do some more examples. If we want to look at the time 1 o'clock, the minute hand, which is the long hand, is pointing at the 12, and the hour hand will point at the 1. So, now the clock is showing 1 o'clock. Let us do another example. Right, now we have the minute hand and the hour hand. The minute hand is still pointing at the 12th, so it's an o'clock. The hour hand is pointing at the 10th, so we say it's 10 o'clock. When you have some time, come back to this PowerPoint, and here you can click on all the different times to tell you what time is it. Okay, let's move on. Now let's see how smart you are. What time is it? The, the minute hand is pointing at the 12 and the hour hand is pointing at the 7. So, what is the time? It is 7 o'clock, if you guessed it correctly. Well done! Let us do another example. Here, the minute hand is pointing at the 12 and the hour hand is pointing at the 3. Can you guess what time it is? It is 3 o'clock. Let us do another example. Here, the minute hand is pointing at the 12 again and the hour hand is pointing at the 11. So now, what time is it? It is 11 o'clock. If you guessed correctly, well done! Here is another example. 12, the minute hand is pointing at the 12 and the hour hand is pointing at the 6. So now, it is 6 o'clock. You can come back to this PowerPoint and do all of these examples. Here the time is now. 9 o'clock. Here the time is now 12 o'clock. Now they're asking us which clock shows 2 o'clock. Now for us to tell this we know the minute hand is always pointing at the 12 when it's o'clock. Where should the hour hand be pointing to? 8 3 or at 2? If, you, if you've guessed 2 o'clock, that would be correct. Let's move on. Which clock here shows 4 o'clock? Remember, the minute hand is pointing at the 12 when it's o'clock. So all of these are o'clocks. But which one is 4 o'clock. If you guessed this one, you would be correct. And these two are wrong. 
Now, which clock shows 10 o'clock? The minute hand must point at the 12 and the hour hand must point at the 10. If you've guessed this clock, you are a star. Which clock now shows 3 o'clock? The minute hand needs to point at the 12 and the hour hand needs to point at the 3. If you've guessed this clock, super! We've come to the end of today's lesson. Don't forget to move to the OneNote page, complete the activities. There is also a really fun video for you to watch to help you tell the time easily. There is some activity sheets and even a game for you to play. Don't forget to click on the link to answer questions about today's lessons. Assalamu alaikum and good luck.